the figure shows the graphical variation of reactance of a capacitor with frequency of AC source. Reactance versus frequency. What is the reactance of a capacitor? Xc is 1 by omega c. Omega is 2 pi f. So you can see that Xc is inversely proportional to the frequency. Therefore, the graph should be like this. Okay, the shape of graph. You have to find the capacitance of the capacitor. Okay, so I C find karna. Now from here, from this formula, you can write C is equal to 1 by 2 pi F into Xc. Okay, from the graph find all values. Frequency is, koi bhi point le lo, aap ye point le sakte ho, 100 frequency hai, or reactance is 6 ohm. So, 100 into 6. Solving this, you get 265 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 farad, which is 265 microfarad. Second part, the idle inductor has the same reactance at 100 hertz frequency as the capacitor has at the same frequency. Find the value of inductance of the inductor. Okay. The inductor and capacitor have the same reactance. That means XL is equal to XC. Omega L is equal to 1 by omega C. And you have to find L. So, L is equal to 1 by omega square C. Omega kya hai? 2 pi F square into C. Aap isse lik sakte hai? 4 pi square F square C. Now, same way uh, you can find F and C from your F aap le lo 100. And C ka value aa gaya tha upar se, aap ye pi put kar sakte hai. And uh, other way is, other way is XL is equal to XC. XC uh, ko aap XC rehne do, isko liko omega L XC. From your 2 pi F into L is XC. So, L is equal to XC upon 2 pi F. XC or F value aap yahan se put kar do, XC is 6. F is 100 and 2 pi put kar do, you will get value of L 9.6 into 10 to power minus 3 Henry or 9.6 milli Henry. This is your answer. Part C, draw the graph showing the variation of reactance of this inductor with frequency. Okay, XL hota hai omega L. XL is 2 pi FL. So directly proportional XL and F, directly proportional graph with a straight line. This is XL, this is F. You get a straight line. 